hi guys welcome back to my channel if you are a new visitor thank you all for tuning in if you are a returning subscriber it is always love thank you for tuning in again okay um if you have already read the title then you know me and d'angelo have finally went into business together we were trying to figure out what we got what we were going to do together and this is pretty much it um this is going to be our first flip that we are going to do together and i am going to take you guys along the way with us through this process um i'll be inserting some footage footage here real live footage of you know some of the things that went that we went through um doing during i cannot talk today but uh, we'll be taking you through some live footage where, you know, we did our first walkthrough in the house. And, you know, when we bought the house, uh, the complications that we may have had during this process. Um, some meetings with the realtors. Um, and in the future, you know, we'll be posting videos of like the before and after the contractors working and blah, blah, blah. But yeah, so I'ma just let y'all, you know, see what's going on here. And we are gonna jump right into the video. So when you say the windows look good, are you talking about just the, the, the glass? glass? and the frames are solid, so we could like break them down, refinish them basically, paint them up and shit. I was Never thinking like new that. windows. Then that's gonna be about $10,000. New windows? $10,000, $15,000. Interesting. Probably replace that one, leave the new one here. Yeah. But like that, that's solid. They just need to be painted up straight down, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That's good. Got a security door too. That's cold. A new security door? Yeah, you need the uh, lock on it and shit. That's cold. 300 for the door, plus another 150 for the Oh, this is a box tire, right? That you gotta. Yeah. Oh, let me see. Okay, yeah, we do. Oh, so we do. Especially this garage. I gotta ask her to do this. We have to tear this down. Yeah, because that's no good. It's definitely leaning. So this is See, this house don't have a garage. Are you going in when they bad? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it is. I don't know if she would do that. No. I ain't nothing standing. I think it's the oh, way it's made. Yeah, yeah, it's the glass. But it's the smaller size, though. It ain't the standard size. Looked like they was trying to build some type of uh, <laughs> railing in the front and the back. Got a little yeah, balcony up there. That up. Definitely, that got to be fixed, though. That could be like a key selling feature. Like, see, see them up over there? Oh, yeah, yeah, they're down there. Oh, my mama got one of those, too. Yeah, there. Mm hmm. We can fix it up nice. Right, change the railing, maybe. The furniture all having stage and shit, you know. <laughs> <laughs> this good too. This this is a solid one. Look, first off, the foundation is good. Yeah. You see this how you know. This how whoever lived today moved out. Nobody really. They probably just took the furniture where he left it alone. Mm-hmm. Cause look, you see the power line still in here. Mm-hmm. The box, all that shit still here. Usually all this shit tore off and gone. Here, take a look at first. Make sure we get it. Yeah, I'm looking at them uh, walls looking like McDonald's. The basement is finished, but we gotta tear all this up. Go. Go, King. You wanna go? You gotta wait for daddy. I wanna see D'Angelo's reaction when he come back from checking the house. Yeah, baby. Yeah, what? It's a lick. <laughs> it's just cosmetics, man. Come here, come on. You got your light? Okay, I'm gonna tear all this shit down to the, to the block. It must have been flooding down here. Not really. Maybe. This is where the furnace and shit go. 
Got a little bar here. Look, this ain't low. I told you he moved out. Nobody even fucked with this house. The furniture, old furniture, still over here. Hmm. Go get it on camera. See? Oh, mm. that should be gone. See all the piping still there? Look at all the piping up there. Yeah, see, baby. That's good. We ain't gotta even do plumbing. All we gotta do is tap in. Mm-hmm. Heaven must ain't seen this. <laughs> what? This place. It's all cosmetic. Plumbing good, electric probably good. You feel me? Mm-hmm. The biggest job is the roof. This ain't nothing but a good. I'm gonna get this done in one day. Look, this is what we do. They got a bathroom down here? Yeah. We we'll probably re put this bathroom back. You see that box, electrical box still there. Mm. It's old. We gotta change that, but that means all the I'm sorry, King. That means all the wiring through the house is here. Mm -hmm. What we're gonna do is snatch all this wood paneling mm -hmm. back to the look to here. Mm -hmm. To that. So we we'll either do a, ba a basic paint where it's real clean, you feel me, or we'll finish it. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's there. This is all cosmetics right here. This is nothing. Got a little bench here. Look, oh no, this this is nothing. Look, cosmetic. This ain't nothing. But we snatch this out, put wood down, and then put our flooring on top. Snatch the cabinets out. That's nothing. Put all no shit. I bring Heather though to give us some the way to design it. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Where it look modern, not like a basic room. Yeah. That's nothing in here. That's cosmetic. So I could figure that out, though. Why? You don't need heaven for that. I could figure that out. All right. That's what I need here. Same thing here. This don't need nothing but paint, new chandelier, yeah. <laughs> and new floor. The same floor we got at our crib. Mm -hmm. You just pop all this up yeah. and run it. This is dope. It's not bad at all. Right. This is the same got thing here. Got a fireplace. We up a bit update this, though. Mm-hmm. Same floor, paint, done. <laughs> this shit costs money, baby. Put a little door here, little closet here, you feel me? Little closet door. Mm -hmm. These stairs are already good. All we do is just uh, have them refinish. Refinish it. Yep. Maybe change that room. Change this. Yup. Fix this up. Damn, we got a window right here. That's weird. Put drywall, shower us around, and Change. nice towel. Change all that. Yeah. We need that. You know what I'm saying? That special shit. It's a small bathroom. It's a perfect fit for our first number. Same thing here. All that's need paint. Paint and light. Carpet upstairs. Well, might run the same hardwood floor like our house. You feel me? Mm -hmm. Whichever more modern, you know, update. This is nothing, baby. This might cost a little money to re -win, redo this whole porch. Mm -hmm. Make it look nice. Mm -hmm. Black or some shit, you feel mm -hmm. me? With a nice door to let the light in. Yeah. Baby, this is a perfect flip. And then, we don't even have to do it. We can refinish this. All this can be refinished. Yeah, it's solid. Mm -hmm. You know, like downstairs, it ain't got the lumps yeah, and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get what you're saying. This don't even have a paint, refinish the floors, and a light. All the windows here. Mm -hmm. This is not no 45000 This light will mark budget 10 15000 10 15000 <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Maybe twenty. I say twenty. Portia, I was just like this, and I get hers for 10000 but we gonna go crazy though. We gonna go, go dirty. You feel me? We gonna go crazy in here. This ain't nothing but paint. It's crazy that that room with the balcony is the small room. Yeah, you think that that was? Yeah, cause if that that's a small room, and you don't want no kids in there with the the door. Yeah, you know? that's that's all the virus. Is that good? <laughs> 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 oh, they got a little laundry shoe here. Yeah, that's all. It's my mama got one of those in her house. <laughs> yes, I wish we had one. That should be straight to the basement. Damn, baby. Yeah, that's nice. We gotta, we gotta keep it happening, man. I'm gonna let you do it happen, right? 
Alright, this is my part. This is my story now. They How does this happen? These, oh, from water. Oh, okay. And then a leak, oh, a leak right there probably came down over here. So that, that's from that's just roof. That means they need a new roof. Yeah, that's yeah, all right. Yeah. Oh, okay. You know what I mean? That's the first thing we're going to do. Why it's warm, mm. we'll go outside. That porch, roof, gutters, all that. Mm. So that way we What's that right there? Door. That's the doorbell. Oh, the doorbell. Oh. We probably have things up with some shelves in there or something. Yeah. Interesting, yeah. This house got a lot of damn doors, though. <laughs> <laughs> Did we open this? That's the. That's I don't the, go outside. Yeah. I See, it look big thing. right. It look big yeah, right here, but outside. This is a perfect flip. It's simple, baby. Yeah, it is. It's simple. Very simple. We, we, we got to figure out. I'm, I'm the one who want to do the kitchen like it is. I want to make it modern, like you feel me? Yeah, I get what you're saying. I'm saying you might be able to even put a little small island in here. That's what I'm thinking, baby. We put the sink and shit over there, island right here or something. I don't know. Or you go. You know, they be, heaven don't be opening this shit up. We might have open, open this up. Open this up, yeah. yeah. Definitely. Call That'll make it modern as fuck. And this wall right here. Yeah. Take This wall could be took out. And put the bar right here. Whoop. You know shit. what I'm saying? I don't want no spider. I'm good. Oh, you it ain't hurt. I'm shit. worried about yeah. spiders and shit. <laughs> But well, yeah, definitely could take that wall out, out, take that wall out. Yeah. You could do a bar too. Yeah. I don't think you should do the bar and the uh, I, no, island, no. no. I, was, I would rather do the bar over the island because the island is take more up more space. Sit to it, sit to it, store shit in and all that. With the island? The bar. And it, it reverse it. You can use it for the dining room and for the kitchen or some shit. Mm. That's what. We got to do to make this house sell. But I think people like it's islands so more than they like bars. Whatever. I'm islands saying, is we more. We can't go back. We don't want to go back with, with that basic. Yeah. Same place. yeah, no, no, no. no. no upstairs back home, all we doing is put everything back but new, brand new, modern shit. You feel me? Mm -hmm. So this is where the money will be the roof here. So that's where the refrigerator was? Yeah. But we can redo all this. You yeah. Feel me? Mm -hmm. But the money going to be in that porch. The roof. The so you could literally just take this whole sink out and just move it to another yeah, part of it? Yeah, you can you want. That's what I'm going to be doing. Interesting. You can re put this however you want it. Only thing that makes the kitchen is the plumber, but you can just rerun the lines wherever you want it. I would say if that's the case, take the whole sink out and put it the sink in the island. You can do that. <laughs> Can't wait for what? Get this flip started. Get guys over here and get to work. So, what's the plan? How did how you how do you plan uh, to have this house done in what sixty days? Sixty. Okay. Thirty. Thirty days or less. That's so crazy that we talking about this now. I'm getting texts from the realtor. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but I'm a good, I'm gonna get to that. Just tell them how you plan on doing it. Day uno. We're gonna have guys on the roof. You gonna contact window people. Put in all new windows. We're gonna have somebody on the inside doing all the demoing. What's demo? They don't know what demo is, baby. Yes, they do. Tearing they... out all the old shit we don't want. Which is? Which is the whole basement. The walls, the flooring, all mm -hmm. the trash. The whole Just kitchen. Gutting the whole house, basically. The whole kitchen. Not the whole house. The whole kitchen, whole bathroom. All that old tile and shit. Basement. All the old light fixtures. That's day one. It's gonna take all them guys probably two, three days. All those jobs will be done. Then we're gonna do the plumbing, Whoa, electrical, see? Mom. doors. Yes. Whoa. I see the birdies. Okay, you said you're gonna have teams. So you're not gonna have one person just. King, shh. You're not gonna have just one group of mm. men to tackle the whole house. You're going to have nope. several groups. That's how we're going to get it done in less than 30 days. Tackling different parts. So a group outside, a group in the basement, a group on the roof, a group on the roof, a group on the garage. A group on the garage. And that's the... That's day that, one. That's how you think that it will move the that's flip process. That's how I know. 
faster. That's all I don't know. <laughs> okay. Got a lot of experience doing this, man. This my this my lane right here. Okay. Okay. Anything else you want to add? <laughs> Anything else you want to ask? Ooh, okay, you coming back with the... Say <laughs> <It's like>, no. <laughs> what are you planning on doing with the grass? Well, Is it necessary to have the grass looking nice when we doing the flip? You keep asking me that. You must don't agree. I'm, I'm no. I'm, it's, it's for yeah. the footage. Yeah, yes. So landscaping is a must. We already, got, we already found a landscaping guy from this neighborhood. Only thing we'll have, have them do is, uh, like the neighbor over there, cut all that out, put mulch in there, put some some nice bricks up. Okay, and explain what we're here doing today, while we're here today. I mean, with the realtor to get some tips, pointers on. Are we we using our same realtor that we bought this house with, or? We're using a different realtor on the team. We do everything right. with teams. Not one, no individual get get the job. You feel me? <laughs> so they are a team, but we have one that we purchased it from, and then um, one to uh, sell with. One to sell, but they are a team. They work together. So we meet with her, and she's gonna do what? Give us some tips on if we should open the kitchen up or not. How we should play the basement. She's also going to give you the numbers. And confirm, yeah, that's that's the main thing. She's going to confirm the numbers for sell when we sell. What we gonna sell for? Exactly, and when we get those numbers confirmed, <laughs> then you know we got a real more realistic idea of what we're gonna profit, <laughs> right? I know we're gonna, we're, gonna, we're gonna do at least sixty on this. So. Sixty profit. For sure. Okay. Well, there you have it, guys. This way gonna be nice. And they definitely said that um, if we can salvage the garage back there, if y'all can see the garage, if we can salvage it, I'll let D'Angelo take y'all back there. But it'll bring more value to the house. Um, we can get it at selling at a higher price. Exactly. I don't know why people in Detroit want a, a garage because they do not park in the garage, right. but they really want a garage. For whatever reason. Save it, huh? If you see it. Alright. If you see it. Um, because they would have to probably jack it up and shift it over. Mm -hmm. The garage there ain't going to be much. Well, you did, have you did a job like this before? Well, I got a garage right now that I'm on the house I'm flipping. But I'm trying to mm. see how to do it. Mm. And I really want them to buy it as is. But the dang old garage door is down on, so I got to do something to it. So, mm. Is it leaning as bad as it? Kind of. I'll let you know. Yeah, and I will too. <laughs> yeah, is that is the back porch solid? Yeah. Yeah. And you probably need to point these bricks and stuff. Mm-hmm. I feel so. Oh, uh, you ran the numbers over here? Heaven say 135, one Yeah, I run them again when I get home. I thought you had it, Nia, huh? The code? Mm-hmm. She sent it. She did send it to me. Well, this is no work. I don't know this is. Let me see. Oh, she texted me to him. So, guys, I did want to chime in right here. We did face some issues with uh, closing immediately because there was a balance of about four to five thousand dollars that was still on the house, and we, we wanted to make sure that got taken care of. So, uh, the final water meeting, final water reading did take some time for the company to get out there and take care of that. So, during that time, we had someone break into the house and uh, steal the security doors off the house or whatever not. So, this is the footage uh, pertaining to that issue. Can I please go? 
So guys, we um, gave our number to a neighbor and um, just for emergencies like this, she ended up texting us telling us that they stole the security doors off of the front and side door. And we came to check out, you know, everything and what was going on. They broke in clearly. Um, we contacted our realtor because we haven't closed just yet. Um, we contacted our realtor and let her know, you know, what was going on. Main thing you want to check for is like the furnace and the electrical work, um, that type of stuff. I don't really know details on that. D'Angelo does. Um, maybe I'll put a list in the description bar. But yeah, you want to just check. If something like this happens, you want to check for, you know, anything that may cost you a lot of money. Like I said, those security doors that they took off, those like, that could cost about $600 or, or more to, you know, replace. So we wanna uh, put that all in a bundle and give them that number and let them know, you know, the price of everything so that they can alter the price that we pay for it so that we can get those things replaced or that they can replace them for us. <clears throat> we had a certain number in our head for the profit and I want to make sure that we stay there and you know not because of situations like this that we don't get as much as we plan on getting in our profit so that's that I just came I wanted to update y'all on that have to watch out for things like that once we actually move forward with the closing of the house we will um lock down the house and secure the house set so that we won't have to deal with things like this again and um hopefully i'll remember to show you guys how we secure the house but yeah that's that's it for today hopefully good news in like a week hopefully we will be closing so Okay, so all I gotta do now is reprint this paper that I messed up on, get the Angelo to sign, and send these over to my realtor. And we on, we on. making him sign his life away y'all I own everything now <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't even know he wouldn't even know I could be taking his whole life savings away from him because he ain't breathing nothing I can scan very fast oh, okay did you this all I need to see right here sign your name <laughs> <laughs> Too late, it already child started. support. Already they go scared. child support right there, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> no phones allowed during work hours, okay? My what did you just sign? Closing document. No, <laughs> what did it say at the top? The address of the house that we buying. No, it didn't. Where you see the address at? Where do you see the address? I see this. You, I no, see, so you what is that? He didn't know. Solidified what, title exactly. and closing. How does I see solidified title and he closing? Ain't paying attention. I can get his ass good. You too. Wow. What? What they say? The title company didn't accept the wire, so it expired. Why wouldn't they accept the wire? I guess they got a, he said they got a claim for it to go through. It was never taken on my account. 
So he scheduled an appointment for 9 a.m. to resubmit it. Wow. I'm surprised I haven't heard from him then. I wanted to do that note that. You call heaven and let her know what's going on and that we're going to resubmit it in the morning. But shit, why they ain't claim? Right, like. Probably because of the issue with the paperwork or what? Okay, I need you to scan these and send them over to heaven. Baby, that's the only thing I'm asking you to do. Are Look you how, you know how long it take? Baby. It take two minutes to scan one paper and I got. 50 sheets here. It's not 50, it's 25. I'm not spending two hours scanning paperwork. That's your job. Sorry. It's an issue with the uh, wire anyway. Anybody come in or not? So we got time. Come in or not? Yeah, you got it on camera? I ain't doing your job. So what makes you think you don't gotta do that? I guess that? tomorrow we need to start working, right? What makes you think that you don't have to do nothing? I've done my part. Which is what? Sending the wire and signing the document. That's it. That's all. Y'all see, I'm doing the buck of the work here. Okay, this like the doctor and nurse scenario. The doctor come in for two minutes and does barely anything while the nurse literally does ninety seven percent of the work. Just because. The doctor got some credibility, like, <laughs> like. So, so you trying to say I got credibility? No, right? I'm trying to say you got the bunk, uh, the bunk, the, the buck of the funds. You're the primary investor. That's right. And okay, look. First of all, don't, don't, don't do me, okay? <laughs> you getting, you trying, you doing a little bit too much over there, okay? And I'm literally, I've done everything. All you had to do last night, I just told you where to sign that. Sign here. Flip the next page. Sign this. Dotted line. Sign that. Sign the date there. Initial there. I go through all the papers. I do all the talking. I find, found all the um, people who came out and looked at the house for the windows and connected you with a plumber and all kind of stuff like do this myself if I wanted to. <laughs> no, I just want You found the opportunity. You found the opportunity. It. What else did you do? And who funded it? You found the opportunity and you funded it. Okay, man. That's, that's it. Wow. I could have found the opportunity too. I got the same contacts you got. I ain't. Just, I just ain't had the funds. Well, I just ain't had the funds. So why would I contact the person about that opportunity? Because I, I don't got the funds. But anyways, I need to get my 50%, okay? You need to get ready to work tomorrow. Tomorrow, work start. I gotta make sure you doing your part because you be chilling and relaxing around here a little bit too much. Okay, and I ain't had, I ain't had a break yet. So? I'm working on one phone with the electrician. Yeah, right. Only person I know that take 50 million breaks a day. He don't even be doing nothing, y'all. <laughs> he could never, ever, ever, ever work a nine to five, okay? Ever. He be fired. Um, Y'all, we do have the property. It is all ours. We actually about to get started. Today, hopefully, I can take you guys with me. We're going to lock the house down and secure it. Um, we're not going to fully secure it, but we're going to just secure it enough so that we can um, gain control of who's in and out of the house. Um, because right now, it's still open. And one thing that happened I didn't show y'all is... Um, I think I showed... Uh, yes, I did show y'all when um they broke into the house or whatever not and they took the doors off whoop -de -whoop. because of the arrangements me that we had and the documents that we signed we was not able to get no money off um of our price that we offered or you know the bid that we took for the house we wasn't able to get anything um off or any money back or 
anything like that because we were dealing we were dealing with a house that was owned by the bank and um the documents we signed is basically stating that we couldn't ask for no money off uh, regardless of any damages that we may have seen or may have happened uh after we put our offer in and you know that sucked or whatever not but it wasn't too much of a big deal because um the doors they were going to need replacement anyway um so but it was worth a try like why not get new door new free doors if we can you know but um like i was saying it it, it didn't make a big big difference but um it would have if they would have took some of the things that um you know just builds up the foundation of the house like any type of electric pieces or if we had a, a not a new furnace but if we had a good working uh furnace down there it would have you know put us a little behind in our profit um that we aim to get um, but the furnace down there was oh it needed replacing anyway it was already calculated in our budget um most of the stuff that you know was calculated in our budget was still standing on the house and we were still in good condition cosmetic issues like the doors it didn't really you know put a damper in you know what we had already came up with far as numbers so we're still good we're still good and we're about to move forward that is exciting we have yet to celebrate this y'all I'm, I'm a little annoyed we have yet to celebrate this but we have some things come up and y'all we just we tied to these kids we can't get rid of the kids that's what it is <laughs> so i guess we'll celebrate in the future sometime um but yeah y'all that's that we're gonna go over there secure the house get the lights on and we're gonna move forward from there so i am gonna go ahead and wrap this video up this is part one we have more parts to come i'm going to take you guys along the entire process with me this is just the beginning hopefully it inspires you to get into real estate too so yeah, that's that y'all. Thank you all for watching the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to your girl channel, okay? And I will see you guys on the next video. Peace.